I'm Shiny Man, I have a question for you. Do you know how Pokemon Go was created? We've prepared the most rigorous test known to man to find the world's best Pokemon Master. First of all, this video was inspired by a Facebook post written by Roger James Hamilton. I'll include a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. Pokemon Go! Our world has been possessed by this game! Pokemon Go seems like an overnight success. Breaking all sorts of records in downloads, daily active users, average time spent on the app. But it took 20 years for the creator to actually get to the point where you could create Pokemon Go. This story is about John Hankey, the CEO of Niantic, the company that made Pokemon Go. By the way, it's John Hankey, not John Hank. I'm John Hankey and I'm the founder of Niantic Labs. John Hankey, whose hair is um, something else. Let's just say he can do the old Bieber swish better than Justin Bieber himself. Right, so... So John Hankey was interested in computers and programming, and he liked the idea of programming a game. I liked games. Like anybody who messes around with computers, I guess, who play games. I loved programming games. I thought that kind of entertainment was interesting and I had this aspiration for starting a company kind of based around that. While he was still a student, John Hankey co-created a game where players from all around the globe interacted with each other in this virtual world. What soon became known as MMORPG, Massively Multiplayer Online Role Playing Game. This game, Meridian 59, was one of the first MMOs ever. Later he created Keyhole, a company that combined maps with pictures taken from the sky to create the first 3D map of the world. Some years later, Google came into the picture and bought Keyhole because you know Google has to take over the world and the company turned into what we now know as Google Earth. John Hankey ran the Google Geo team and they created services like Google Maps and Google Street View. Some pretty amazing services that people can't live without now. So thank you because honestly I don't know where places are. I mean I don't know how people find celebrities in grocery stores but I need Google Maps to find my own mother at Costco. Anyway in 2010 John Hankey created Niantic Labs. He was looking to develop an augmented reality game where people would actually go outside to play. His kids love playing video games and he was trying to get them out of the house. Go outside children! Stop looking at a screen all day locked in your room. Get out of the house! I have young kids, they were into computer games, and one of the things that I was struggling with was screen time and yeah, you love computer games, but can you get your kids to go outside and play? Niantic finally released this augmented reality game, Ingress. The joy comes in the pursuit. And Ingress was super successful. This huge community was playing the game. People from all ages and backgrounds going to crazy places around the world. I mean, people got married because they met each other through this game. We've had many dating relationships that have emerged from this. Several marriages at this point that have come from people who've met through the game. Babies being named after the characters in Ingress. One of them named their baby after one of the fictional characters in the game, which was kind of... Frightening. Old people playing the game. Senior citizens play the game. This woman was 82 years old when I met her. She's now walked over a thousand kilometers playing the game. Her diabetes is under control. And she's met all these young people. So she's like grandma. She's actually called Agent Nana. She hangs out with all these hipsters up in Seattle playing Ingress. People even lost weight playing this game, which makes sense because they're walking around. People get out, they walk, they lose weight. We didn't really think about it as a fitness product, but it has that aspect that's very attractive to a lot of people. People tattooing the logo of the game on their bodies and just about anything you can imagine. Basically, this this game was life-changing for a lot of people. It really changed the way people played games because they were actually going outside and interacting with other people. A lot of people are stuck in their apartments and houses watching TV without any meaningful social connections to people around them. It's a real social problem and we're kind of getting at that through gaming. Ingress won awards and was super successful. In 2014, Google and the Pokemon company teamed up for an April Fool's joke where users could find Pokemon in Google Maps. There was an awesome trailer about it where players would go to dangerous places to catch Pokemon. Today, we're announcing a new job role and challenge. Using the technology created by the Google Maps team, we've prepared the most rigorous test known to man to find the world's best Pokemon Master. The actual game on Google Maps wasn't as glamorous as the trailer, but it was still an interesting idea. This April Fool's joke went viral and did get everyone thinking that this idea could be turned into a real game. So John Hankey decided to use the locations chosen by the players of Ingress for the Pokemon Go game. He raised $25 million from Google, Nintendo, and the Pokemon Company so that the game could be released in 2016. Pokemon Go was finally released on July 6th in New Zealand, Australia, and the United States of America. Since then, Nintendo's stock has skyrocketed. I mean, look at this graph, it's crazy! And the game gets millions of dollars in in-app purchases, it's huge. And while it seems like an overnight success, 
We know that this overnight success of Pokemon Go has taken John Hankey 20 years to create. Now, Pokemon Go is a phenomenon. I'm sorry, guys, I played it. When I first heard about it, I was curious, but I didn't play it. I mean, I saw it on the news, on TV. My entire Twitter feed was about Pokemon Go. All the videos on YouTube are about Pokemon Go. I even ran into a friend outside playing Pokemon Go. And he tried to convert me! I kept my strength through all of this, and I still didn't feel the urge to play. But then when I was taking a walk at the park, I saw these two little girls and they were trying to catch a Pokemon with their dad's phone, and their mom was there, and their dad was there! And at that point I was like, nope, nope, now I have to play this game! I know I'll be addicted to this for the rest of my life, but I have to. I gave in to the hype, okay? It was too much pressure! Everyone was talking about Pokemon Go, I had to play it too! And I gave in and now it's installed on my phone! Thanks, Niantic! Thank you very much, John Hankey! I mean, everything that's been happening with Pokemon Go, it's insane. And at the same time, pretty amazing. And now everyone can become a Pokemon Master. I will be a Pokemon Master. So if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. And be sure to subscribe to the channel so you get notified for all the new videos that I make. New videos come out every Monday, so I can't wait to see you here again next week. Alright guys, I'm Shami, and I'll see you next Monday.